typical day begins with getting up and putting on my kira and my dago, which is a traditional Bhutanese dress, and all of our students and faculty wear this here. And it's actually quite comfortable. Then I walk to school, which is a, a great part of my day, 30 minutes down across the valley, across the Paro River, on a cantilever bridge, and over to the campus. And then we, uh, we have assembly in the morning where um, it's a very peaceful time for me as a faculty member. I sit on the stage and the students uh, say the prayer of wisdom and chant that. And then uh, we meditate for three to five minutes to focus our minds and hopefully uh, allow intellect and wisdom and knowledge to enter us for the day. And, uh, we have student announcements and uh, student speakers, both in English and in Zonka, the two national languages. And um, we end with the uh, national anthem and we go off to classes. I teach a third year um, module called Reading and Writing in Upper Primary. So the teachers are learning the reading and writing process for the classroom for classes grade four, five, and six. And I'm also piloting a new module um, to teach the first years how to do formal academic writing. And I have to admit I love teaching here. And the students are very respectful and eager to learn. I also operate a learning center, which is basically a tutorial place where they can come and ask for assistance with clarification of assignments or just come and speak. English, practice conversational English. And uh, it's a very welcoming campus. We have about 850 students and all of the different uh, subject areas that you would know uh, that uh, elementary school students learn, like math and science and PE and such. And uh, as I've said, the faculty is wonderful. They're very welcoming and Canadians are well loved here. So I feel very very lucky to be here and then I walk home.